السلام علیکم گائز اینڈ ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل بایولوجی آرٹیکلس اینڈ ایم سی کیوز ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ اے نیو ٹاپک دیٹ از مولٹنگ مولٹنگ از اے مین پروسیس دیٹ از مینلی کیریڈ آؤٹ بائی مینی آرٹس روپورٹس اینڈ انسیکٹس مینی آرٹس روپورٹس اینڈ انسیکٹس ہیو دیر ہیبٹ دیٹ دے شیڈ دیئر ایگزو اسکیلٹن اور یو کین سی دیٹ دے ریموو دیئر ایگزو اسکیلٹن after a specific period of time and this specific period of time may really relate to their immature stages of life that shedding of exoskeleton or removal of exoskeleton in specific period of time is not, uh, usually called molting you can also called molting as ecdysis or ecdysis why this is called ecdysis or ecdysis the reason behind this is a main hormone that is playing an important role in this process that main hormone is named as ecdysone because its name is ecdysone so the name of the molting is also given as ecdysis to understand properly molting the process of molting first of all you have to understand that what is exoskeleton yeah, here in the diagram you are seeing a crab and you know that the crabs have hard layers outside their body and these hard layers help in the protection from the uh, predators mostly as mostly the arthropods when they are in their immature stages they are vulnerable to predators so they ha have this exoskeleton or uh, you can say a special type of hard skeleton outside their body that, that will protect from them from uh, 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 to, uh, that will protect them from predators as this skeleton is hard and present outside their body so it is called exoskeleton if we talk about the composition of exoskeleton or mainly the layers of exoskeleton there are main four layers of exoskeleton the first is epicuticul that is the a simple a uh, thin layer that is present outside uh, the uh, part of the exoskeleton or you can say that this is a outer layer of the exoskeleton the second layer is exocuticle and exocuticle is present beneath the epicuticle and <clears throat> and it is present uh, between the epicuticle and endocuticle and the third layer is endocuticle endo you can uh, you me uh, you know that endo means inner as it is present inside uh, inside the body or inside or beneath the exocuticle so this layer is named as endocuticle the fourth layer of the exoskeleton is a membranous layer a uh, uh, membrane it is a slight uh, thin layer of membrane that is also present in the exocuticle uh, uh, sorry exoskeleton so the four layers are epicuticle exocuticle endocuticle and the fourth one is membranous layer here you are seeing that they are uh, exocuticle and endocuticle are collectively called procuticle so these are the main four layers of exoskeleton If we talk about the composition of the four layers of exoskeleton then these layers are mainly the combination of lipids protein chitin and calcium salt that is constituting the high amount of the layer uh, all the four layers of the exoskeleton of an arthropod or an insect you can see that there is also an epidermis present you know that the epidermis is a layer of skin so it is clear from this diagram that this all uh, these uh, and this all portion is uh, the uh, portion of exoskeleton and exoskeleton is present outside the skin a gland cell is also present in the exoskeleton of the arthropods this gland cell is uh, an important cell that is uh, uh, that will play the role in the process of molting the gland cell the, this gland cell that is present is called hypodermal gland 
Hypodermic gland, as you can uh, remember that hypo means beneath and dermal means dermis. So this uh, gland cell is present beneath the epidermis or you can say that beneath the skin layer. So this gland cell is called hypodermal gland. So moving towards the steps of the molting that how many steps uh, the arthropod should be a pass through to uh, remove its exoskeleton or through sh uh, to shed its ex exoskeleton so they are uh, they are total five steps of the molting so move towards the five step of molting and uh, study them one by one through the help of diagram here you can see a complete diagram or complete steps of molting that are also easy to draw in your copies you are seeing there is a complete exoskeleton of an arthropod this portion is exoskeleton and these cells are cells of epidermis in the first step there is mainly the digestion of endocuticle here this is a layer of endocuticle and you can see that there is, now there is a space between this epidermis layer and endocuticle so this portion of the endocuticle is digested for first uh, to remove the exoskeleton from the body of the arthropod in the second step you are seeing a something else layer that is now forming in the, uh, between the endocuticle and between epidermis the here this layer is more um, is mainly a molting gel molting gel means that this gel will now help in the formation of the new layers of the exoskeleton again one uh, one thing you have to remember that once the arthropod will remove its exoskeleton it have to form a new one also so in this diagram you will learn that the arthropod is removing its exoskeleton at the same time it is forming a new one this new one is important for its protection from the predators so this is a molting gel and uh, uh, and also some enzymes and that enzyme remember that is exosome enzyme and from which they are uh, molting gel and exosome enzyme are secreted they will be secreted from the hypodermal gland that you have seen in uh, in the previous diagram of the exoskeleton moving towards the third step of the molting here uh, and uh, and other layer that is forming that layer is mainly the epicuticle a new a new layer is forming as you uh, you have seen that this layer is removing from the uh, um, uh, body of that arthropod and that new layer is forming means a new epicuticle and new procuticle will form that will again results in a complete exoskeleton in the fourth step there will be removal of the previous exoskeleton and there is now the form, complete formation of the a new exoskeleton moving towards the fifth step in the fifth step here a complete endocuticle exocuticle and epicuticle has formed and these all are formed due to that molting gel and enzyme exosome here you can see that there has a uh, 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 the layer of endocuticle that is very thick and this thick layer is due to the deposition of calcium carbonate why this calcium carbonate has dep uh, deposited in the uh, uh, exoskeleton because this uh, skeleton should be a very strengthened skeleton or a strong skeleton that will easily fight with the predators or easily protect that insect or arthropod from these predators so there are complete five steps explained in this video here you can see an insect this is an insect with a new exoskeleton and this is an insect with the 
previous exoskeleton or you can say that the exoskeleton that it has removed or shed from its body has molted exoskeleton from this diagram i think you will be clear that what is molting and how it is carried out i hope you have understand all the process of molting or agdysis if you have any difficulty related any other topic of biology you can comment the name of the topic below thank you so much